So a lot of you guys are asking down in the comments, do I need to be good at math to become an architect? Or do I need to be good at drawing to become an architect? And I am here to finally answer your questions. And what best way to answer your questions than to talk about the various skills you need in order to become an architect. So the first skill you will need is imagination. Many might say that imagination is an inborn thing, but believe it or not, it is a skill that can be developed and practiced. So by definition, imagination means accessing the experiences and knowledge of the world around us and combining them with a complete unknown to create something new. The key word in that definition is knowledge. You see, imagination is fueled by knowledge. In order to come up with imaginative and unique ideas, you must begin by stocking up on your knowledge basket. So to do so, I usually just like to browse the interwebs for some cool designs and ideas that spark my interest. I usually go to Instagram, Pinterest, Art Daily, and I also go to stock websites like Unsplash and Pexels for great photographs. Once I find a few images I like, I save them in this folder I call the imagination basket, so I can look back at them later. So here comes the fun part. To practice your imagination, all you have to do is to look back at your imagination basket and pick an image that you like. But instead of copying the exact images, ask yourself how that image makes you feel. So what emotions does it trigger in you? Does it make you feel like floating? Then draw a floating house. You see, imagination is fueled by knowledge but manifests itself through emotion. Don't quote me on that. Anyways. Take that emotion and convey it through a sketch. Which brings us to our second skill, which is drawing. Now our first and second skill are very much related to each other. Anyone can draw with enough practice and hard work, but what makes an artist great is when they combine their imagination with their drawing skills. Now some people always say, I want to draw but I can't. Or, I just wasn't born with the talent to draw. Well, let me tell you something, guys. Yes, there are people who are naturally talented in drawing, who at the age of two months can already draw a cat or something like that. But those people are one in a million, and odds are that you and I were not born with that talent. But don't be discouraged. There's a saying that goes, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. And luckily for you guys, drawing is one of those things that could be done by anyone. All you got to do is put in the work and practice every day, if you do this, I guarantee you, you guys will see improvements. So one common factor that will hinder you when practicing your imagination and drawing skills is fear. And the fear of failure or being judged by others is one of the greatest hurdles every artist and architect must go through. Even I have fear when trying to sketch or draw or design something. The fear is always there. Okay, so there's no way of completely removing fear, but I found out a few ways to keep the fear at bay so that I can sketch and draw. One thing I usually do is I just doodle on a random page of my sketchbooks, the ugliest doodle that I can draw. And what this does is it removes the pressure of my sketchbook having to be filled with amazing sketches. It's a sketchbook just for practice, so you know. Just doodle and stuff. Also, I buy these sketchbooks with spiral spines so I could just remove the amazing and great drawings and keep them somewhere safe. This helps me free my mind from this notion that everything that I draw on this sketchbook has to be perfect and Instagram worthy. If that made any sense. Also, before sketching, I shout out loud, Kaizen! <laughs> just kidding, I don't actually shout Kaizen. I just keep this Japanese word in my mind. So. Don't act like a crazy person and shout it just like what I did a while ago. Anyways, there's this Japanese thing called Kaizen, which is based on the idea that small positive changes can turn into major improvements. Basically, if you practice drawing even for 30 minutes every day, after one year, you will see great improvements. You would have probably sketched for about 10,650 minutes or something, if my math is correct. Which brings us to our last skill, which is maths. Now this is probably the most asked question in the comments. Do I have to be good at maths in order to be an architect or what if I'm not good at maths? Well, the answer to that question is complicated, just like maths. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, architecture does involve maths and physics because it is important that we as architects understand the maths and physics involved in making structures and buildings stand. So if you want to be an architect but suck at math, then I have some good news and some bad news for you guys. Let's start with the bad news. You cannot become an architect if you cannot do basic algebra, 
calculus, trigonometry, physics, and all those math subjects. You know, that's, that's just how it is. But the good news is that maths is not a talent-based thing. Maths could be mastered with practice and hard work just like drawing. So if you guys really want to become an architect and you have that fire burning in your butt, then you have to work hard and improve yourselves. And if you find architecture to be hard, well, that's just normal. It's supposed to be hard. Cause being an architect is a very prestigious thing. And the reason why it's very prestigious is because not just anyone can do it. You have to work hard and persevere. Remember, nothing worth having comes easy. Taylor Swift. I don't actually know who said that. <laughs> Anyways, on that note, I would like to announce that I am doing a giveaway of some of the Alvin drafting equipment that I have unboxed on last week's video. So I will be choosing three winners from the Philippines and three winners from outside the Philippines. So the winners from outside the Philippines will have their artworks featured in one of my next videos along with a shout out for their Instagrams or their Facebooks. Unfortunately, the Alvin Instrument Tools giveaway is only available for my viewers in the Philippines. Not because I'm racist, but because I have no monies to ship abroad. So sorry guys in other countries, but I'm kind of broke right now and you know, overseas shipping is just crazy expensive. Dang it, why am I so poor? Anyways, you guys outside my country could also participate and get a shout out. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the purpose of this challenge is to get rid of the fear of being judged by others. So don't feel bad if you don't win. Everyone who joins this challenge is already a winner in my eyes. Yeah, yes you. You, who's planning to join this challenge? You already won just by planning to join. What was I saying? To join, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebooks and Instagrams, maybe Twitter. I'll put links down below and post a sketch, drawing, artwork, crochet, or cross stitch, carving, whatever art you want on Instagram. And don't forget to tag me so I can see your artworks. And don't forget to put the hashtag Squad challenge along with the short message on why you want to become an architect. And with that being said, I'm going to end the video right here, guys. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for helping me reach 65,000 subs. It's all so surreal to me. Anyways, I will see you guys on my next video. Arky Squad represent Flying Peace.